Hello, my loves. I'm Brittany, and I am a soul coach, theta healer, and Reiki master teacher, astrologer. And in this live video, I'm going to talk about using the theta healing technique to clear limiting beliefs because it's amazing. It's something that I have used to heal and transform my life. And I'm helping people and helping clients all over the world now with this amazing method. So I'll just explain to you guys a little bit about what theta healing is. It's a technique created by Vianna Stabal and it's something that you can take a course and learn or you can read a book on it. Um, I've taken four courses in it, so I'm a pretty advanced theta healer at this point. And what you do is you use this technique and it's called digging, okay? And it's a little bit like a therapy session, okay? And you're digging, you're searching for the bottom belief that's causing the issue. Hi, Janya! Hey, girlfriend! I love you, girl! Um, yeah, so what you're doing in this digging session is you are looking for the bottom belief that is the root of the problem. Um, say hi when you pop on, ladies. I'd love to talk to you all. Um, so with this digging technique, hi Amber, nice to meet you, I'm Brittany, love you Janya. Um, so what you're doing with this digging technique is you're trying to find the bottom belief that is causing the issue. And I'm gonna tell you all something right now. When you're experiencing an issue in your life or something that's negative, it's not the issue itself that is causing the negative emotion in you, but it is the negative beliefs that are being brought up in yourself by the issue, okay? And I'll, I'll use the example of heartbreak, okay? Because I went through this myself and I healed myself with this method. So in the situation of a heartbreak, you know, you get dumped or cheated on or left or something, right? And it's just devastating, right? You're crying, it's, it's very difficult. Um, it's not actually the situation itself that is causing that crying and that pain, but it's the negative beliefs that you're carrying about yourself and about relationships and about life that are causing those feelings. So if you use this technique, which I did, and you clear the negative beliefs that are causing the issue, and it, it could be different for each person, right? But it could be something along the lines of, I'm not good enough, or I'll never have love, or, you know, all of life is pain, or something like that. Yeah, you guys get that? Have you guys experienced that in your life? Whereas, okay, Let's say the same situation happened and you got your heart broken, but you didn't carry these beliefs about yourself that you're not good enough or you're not worthy of love or whatever it is. That same situation could happen and you could sort of, like you still might be a little bit sad, but it's not gonna be this life crushing thing anymore because you know you're good enough, you know that you deserve to have love, and you know that you will have love even if not in the form of that particular person, right? So it's very amazing how this works like because you can be literally in tears crying heartbroken and clear those beliefs with the theta healing technique and feel instantly different like this is what i did i was crying every day for about a week because i got um you know broken up with by a guy that i thought was like the love of my life and i was very depressed and i used this technique and i cleared all the beliefs and i have not cried since. I've maybe cried a little bit like for different reasons, which I've then healed myself on as well. But that feeling of like the whole world is ending has never been brought up again since I cleared those limiting beliefs. So that's just one example. That's my heartbreak example. That's like my go-to because that's the one that really proved it to me that this work is amazing and I have to be doing it for as many people as I possibly can because like for me to go from depressed crying every day like there's no hope in life for me to like oh I'm totally fine and actually I'm gonna like heal people with this method so it was really a huge lesson for me and that's when I started doing this for clients and yeah it's totally amazing so Another situation is like you can clear money beliefs as well. Like we can have abundance blocks. And I mean, we're probably all into that in this group because it's a prosperous women tribe, right? So um, you can have a lot of interesting beliefs around money. And the reason why you're not manifesting more money might not be for the reason you think, okay? It could be many things. Um, 
I'll share my personal example again with the Theta Healing, what belief I found to be blocking me from abundance. Um, I'll just give you a little backstory. I work with my dad. I work there less now because I do this most of the time, my healings, but he owns an insurance office and I worked there with him since I was 18. And um, so that, that went on. And then I was at this Theta Healing course and I got brought up in front of the whole class to clear my money blocks, okay? And I didn't really think I'd have any money blocks. I thought, I'm good with money. I'm always getting money from everything. I always buy everything I want. I don't have any money blocks. And I went up in front of the class and she did this session for me. And she asked me, we do this technique in Theta Healing. It's called the manifesting digging technique, okay? Where you take the person into their future life where they have what they want already, okay? And so for me, it was like buttloads of money. I was like, okay, I have all this money. And so she took me there. She said, see it, what's happening? And I said, well, I'm really happy. I'm traveling the world, I'm shopping, I have a family, I'm doing all these things that I love. I'm teaching, I'm healing. It's just great, right? And everything is great. And I was like, wow, this is great. And then she said, well, what do other people think of you? And she just asked me that question. And then I burst into tears in front of the whole class. And I said, my dad doesn't love me anymore. I'm not at the office. So the big block that was holding me back from manifesting more money and more abundance into my life was this fear that my dad wasn't going to love me if I had more money because I wouldn't be at the office. Does that make sense? Yeah, it was it was huge, Janya. Like I was like, oh my god, I was so surprised because I didn't realize how trapped that I felt. And it wasn't true, of course. I mean, now I'm not at the office as much. I've told my dad I want to be a healer full time. Like he knows, um, and we we aren't experiencing any relationship problems. He loves me more now because I'm not resenting doing something that I don't like because I was afraid that I would lose love. Right? And I think that can happen for a lot of us women. Like, we fear that if we fully step into our earning power and make all these fuck tons of money, um, that we are going to lose love from our dad, in my case, or our husbands, or like our friends. Maybe our friends won't like us anymore for who we are. They'll only like us for our money. Like, these can be the kind of blocks that are holding you back. But it could be other things, too. You could feel like you're not worthy of it or you're not good enough. All of these things we would find in the session and like with the theta healing work that I do it's in a theta brainwave so it's a lot more of a meditative state than like me right now talking like if we're doing a session it would be very like we would have our eyes closed and I would guide you into this deep state and that's where we find what the beliefs actually are you can't really do it like having a conscious conversation it's a little bit more unconscious it's not as unconscious as like hypnosis or like sleeping but it's like a little bit more relaxed and that's how you get there to that deep place right um amber says so true we can also fear we won't have time for our children and family because we might have to travel a lot etc yeah and that can be a huge block and you can heal that because it's not really true it's just a fear that you have like if you did have all the more money and success that you wanted you would find a way to make everything work for you and like we have this belief also that comes up a lot that's like I can't have it all like I can only have like my family or money or like I can only have love or money like I can't have both right like or like nobody has all of it but that's not true we can have all of it and we can experience success in all areas of our life and we can be thriving in all areas of our life right and once we clear these limiting beliefs and blocks it's a lot easier for us to get into that place where we can actually manifest all of that that we're wanting so yeah it's super amazing stuff I've changed my life with it and you feel instantly different and the theta healing is done by what they call in theta healing like the healing is done by the creator of all that is so like God or source or the universe but you don't have to be religious for it to work but the healing happens instantly so like you don't have to like go process it or whatever. It actually takes place instantly. And the way that we can prove that is we use muscle testing in Theta Healing where we actually test your body to see if you're holding the belief. Um, and in an online session, which I'm doing right now, I do my whole healings online, um, we test with get the client to stand up and then close their eyes. And when you say yes, 
the body moves forward and when you say no the body moves backwards and um, so you could get them to say I love myself and if they move backwards you'd know that it's a no and that would be the belief we would heal and then at the end of the session we'll get the client to say I love myself again and it'll be shifted and that kind of proves to you the client that the beliefs are being removed instantly and it's that quick so it's always like mind-blowing for the people to think like wow like something that I was strongly believing at the beginning of this hour is now gone so it's totally amazing Amber says yes we can yeah we can we can be free of this we can live in joy and I'm sure all of you ladies that are in this group right now, like you are ready for a life of more joy. You're ready to let go of those negative blocks holding you back, which is why this work exists. It's like the reason Theta Healing exists is because there's enough humans at this time that are ready to live in more light and ready to connect with who they really are, which isn't those fears. It's actually like unlimited abundance, right? Janya, that's awesome. Yeah. It's so awesome. You can tell. I'm like really excited about it. Like, um, I woke up at six in the morning today and I've been doing healings until now. And then I get to do healings after. And like, you don't get depleted by it either. It just gives you energy because you're connecting with the energy of like source or your soul or God. So it's, it's unlimited. Right. And that's what we're learning about here in this group too, is that we're abundant. Um, we can be abundant with energy and love and money, all of it. Right. Um, okay, Amber says, how can we do muscle testing on ourselves? I've only seen it done with two people. Yeah, so what you do with the muscle testing on your own, I'll just show you guys really quick. So, okay, it only works if you're hydrated. So you have to be drinking like a fair amount of water before the session and also after. But what you do is you just stand up. Okay, well, you can kind of see my body here. So you stand up and close your eyes and say yes. And the body moves forward and then you say no and the body moves backwards and but it only works if the person is hydrated so that's how you do it on yourselves so actually yeah it would be fun for you guys to test some beliefs like the first one you should test is I love myself and see if you go forward which is yes and then backwards which is no and you'll see like if you really actually love yourself on a deep unconscious level because like we might think we love ourselves, but really deep down, we like still don't because we hold on to beliefs unconsciously, right? Like it's, this is like why the Theta Healing is so valuable because we know what we're thinking up here, but what we're really feeling on a deep level, we don't always know. We're not always conscious of it, right? Um, so yeah, that's how you do it on yourself. And yeah, I, that's how I do it on myself too. Like if I'm just doing a session by myself, or um, if I do it online with people, with my clients, I just get them to stand up and do it. And it works, it works really good. Um, and it's, it's fun too, because it's fun to see the beliefs shift. And then like, I get all excited about, yay, you love yourself now, right? Um, and another quick thing that I'll mention is you can actually hold dual beliefs. Like you can hold the belief of I love myself because maybe you've done, done a lot of healing work already and you've worked on yourself a lot. Um, but then uh, you, also still hold the belief like from childhood or from you know whatever that you hate yourself so you can actually muscle test like I love myself and I hate myself and maybe you have a yes on both so then of course you just want to clear the I hate myself part and then you're good to go right but yeah so we can like believe that we deserve love and abundance on one hand but then believe that we don't on the other hand so that's why yeah it's really valuable to clear the beliefs on yourself because you can do like all the conscious work that you want, like reading affirmations and stuff like that, but it doesn't always heal those unconscious feelings that you felt from childhood or even like if you believe in past lives. Lately, with my healing sessions, I'm going into past lives almost every time with, with clients. Like we're healing these past life issues and it just comes out of nowhere and I'm like, okay, we got to do some past life healing here. So that's definitely an issue too. Like if you've had some persistent feeling your whole life and you don't know where it came from and it doesn't really correlate to anything that's happened, it could be a past life issue. And most people, a lot of people are walking around with a lot of issues that aren't even really theirs. Like we can also hold on to our, our parents' beliefs as well. We, um, in Theta Healing, we learned that 
we hold on to our parents' beliefs on the genetic level. So like if you know you have a parent that doesn't really love themselves, take a look at yourself because you're probably holding that same belief on the genetic level. Even if on the conscious mind level, you know you do love yourself, it's still like deep down. Maybe you don't, right? Um, Amber says past life is huge. Yeah, it is huge. And that's been coming up a lot for me. Like in the last week in my sessions, it's like every time I'm doing a past life healing. Um, <laughs> and like, I, I, yeah, it's amazing. But I had a lot of past life work that I did on myself. So we attract people that are like us. And it's, it's so funny, like almost every client I do a session for, it's some issue that I previously dealt with, which is really amazing. Hi, Alyssa. Um, yeah, so any questions, you guys? Want to know anything else about clearing limiting beliefs with Theta Healing? Super fun and oh, I love it more than anything. It's like, it's my life's work. I could talk about it all day. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. Yay, Alyssa loves on here. Hey, girlfriend. I love you all. Um, you're doing an amazing job, Amber. Oh, thank you, girl. I appreciate that. <sighs> Alyssa says, what was your biggest limiting belief? Oh my God. Well, all of them. <laughs> um, no. Okay. Let me actually think about this. Um, well, the ones that really were, I was holding on to strong that like actually made me cry when I removed them was stuff like, like, I don't matter. That was the belief that was causing my heartbreak because I felt like I didn't matter. I wasn't acknowledged. I wasn't like, and uh, yeah, I wasn't given the time of day by this guy. And actually when I did the healing, it turned out that it wasn't even my belief because I actually, I had a session with my healing teacher and, and she, um, asked me, well, when did you first remember feeling like this? Because this is what we do in a session. We try to find where it originated. And I said, well, you know, I never felt like that. I was the only child and I was always very loved and appreciated and cared for. Like I felt like I did matter. And then she said, well, is it your parents' belief? And it was, and it was both of theirs. And they were like the youngest of four children, both of my parents. And my mom had a tragic thing happen in her life with her brother. He like was handicapped and so a lot of attention was paid on, on him and not her. And so I ended up seeing like this little girl who was very alone in her room and there was the belief, it was I don't matter. So my situation, my heartbreak, the pain that I was feeling was actually passed down from my mother, okay? And then, so that was one of them. And then I'll just quickly talk about the second one that I think was very huge for me that I healed in my abundance block one that I was talking about earlier it was um the belief that everyone is against me and this actually was coming from a past life experience where I was doing some type of work like this and I got killed for it because this used to happen like you know like witches and stuff like that and it was this feeling of like betrayal and like the people that I had helped were there like laughing like when they were you know giving me the whatever they do, you know when they like kill people in the old days, like they cut off their head, anyway, yeah, so anyways, that's like gross, sorry to mention that, but yeah, that's, that was the truth, it was this feeling that everyone was against me, and actually, after I cleared the belief that everyone is against me is when I started my business, before I was too scared, because unconsciously, I still felt maybe like I would be killed for doing this, right? Because like stuff like that can traumatize you. So past life issues, very real. I dealt with that. Also parents' beliefs, very true. Like we can hold on to their belief because sometimes we've come in to heal them. We've come in where these light children, these, you know, souls, like indigo souls or whatever they call it. And we've come to heal the negative patterns of our family and generations before. So anyways, yeah, those two were really huge for me. That was what came to me. But yeah, big stuff, you guys. And it's really amazing work. So if you want to have a session with me, please reach out. I would love to do this with you. I love doing it. I do it every day. It's like my life's work, my passion. Oh, I just love it. Um, anyways, yeah, is there any other questions, you guys? Thank you so much for watching this. You guys are awesome. It was super fun. I love this group. I love Janya. I love this group. Like, it's so 
where I'm meant to be because you can just go on there and feel positive instantly and it's like the right kind of people the people that know we deserve abundance and all of the good things so I just love it anyways I think that's all I'm gonna say today you guys and um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much Janya for having me on your group and I love you all if you have any more questions just reach out ask me okay it is an amazing group right Amber I love it in here okay Bye, you guys. Love ya.